Yeah, baby. Oh, that's a nice wallet. Everybody, welcome to MJ Outdoors. You know what? It's a beautiful day. The sun is out. We got a little bit of a nice little walleye chop going on today, and I'm gonna go out. We're gonna go try pulling some blades with some spinner rigs, some bottom bouncers. I'm gonna try to catch a couple walleye. But the main goal of this video is I want to show you guys how awesome some of the Lake Master mapping in conjunction with your iPilot trolling motor is, because we are gonna be following the contour, and uh, you know it's something I've been playing around with. Hey, what do, you, what do you guys think? We're, uh, what do you think? This is not the uh, typical MGO rig. I feel like I'm like a uh, Clayton or Jay now. We got the Clayton or Jay rig. Yes, we got a new rig. And I'm excited to start getting some videos out. But I've been just playing around. I've done probably more driving around with this big 90 Suzuki. Thanks to Luke's Town Service. Uh, all summer, just trying to break the motor in and kind of get it ready for fishing. But we're in the pro boat, so maybe the pro boat will bring us some luck. We got some better boat control ahead, so yeah, let's get to fishing. And uh, we're going to try pulling some blades and uh, see what we can catch, uh, get a walleye or two for uh, dinner. We got a perch. Did we got a perch? I think we got a perch. Oh yeah. Big fish, ladies and gentlemen. Oh look at that. That's how we're starting off the day with a giant. There we go. Perch. Not big enough for the live well. Let him go. are getting bigger you know what they say where there's perch there's walleyes and where there's saugers there's walleyes it's pretty sweet I don't even have to control the boat or anything oh now I'm bleeding I think this is the spot where I was trying this out when I tried this out for the first time I did this exact same path and I was playing around with the radio because I wanted to see if the stereo worked in the boat now I'm bleeding and I had a pretty good walleye on on this inside corner here. Here we're gonna fish a bit of a channel edge. Um, you know, I'm gonna kind of fish the top end of it where it's kind of it's pretty shallow. Then you got the channel edge, and then it kind of drops down into I don't know 20 feet or so or whatnot. We're gonna work the edge, so I'm gonna run. You know, we're gonna be here in about 10 to 15 feet of water, or so so I'm gonna run a one and a half ounce bottom bouncer. I got it tied up just to my main line here, and then we have our spinner. We're gonna use a nice fat juicy crawler here on the end now it's important too that with these bottom bounces you want to have them way 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 some people i see it they have their bottom bouncer like 20 feet 30 feet below the boat you want to try to keep your line on a 45 degree angle you don't want to have it i know sometimes i'm guilty of this too where you keep letting line up but you want to have this just tick in the bottom i caught myself you want to have this tick in the bottom and you're going to have that bleed just kind of rotating in the water there there we go I just marked that fish ho, 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 ho. we might even need the net for this one 
this oh we might need the net i marked that on the graph i was trying to get that get it on camera i don't know if we got it on here or not we might have to get the uh the net out for this one switched out we moved back down to 15 feet a little bit deeper might have to go work this edge again but we have marked this fish I marked this fish on the helix on the on the 2d and the down imaging you can see it's a big blip come on come on pulling blades baby pulling blades we're pulling blades Almost here. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, that's a nice walleye. This is a oh, this is a fat one too. So there is some nice fish kicking around. Oh, there we go, guys. Check out that fish. Isn't that a beauty walleye? Probably about a 24, 25 inch fish. Guys, if you're a walleye angler and you like to troll and you like to work edges and, and all that kind of jazz, this follow the contour feature is absolutely fantastic. You know, I've been playing around with it and I'm a bass guy. I don't even like to pull spinners, but since I've got this setup, I've actually really enjoyed pulling spinners, pulling blades. You know what? It's very simple to get going. All you got to do is cursor over on your map with the cursor button, hit go to. And then you want to select follow the contour. Once you've selected follow the contour, you'll see which direction you want to move to. There will be the yellow path or the blue path. And you can select which direction you want the boat to, to go in. So one of the beauty things is that you can just offset your travel path with your remote. It's a simple. We can move the boat over the next depth range. And uh, like th that's exactly what happened to us. We were in 13. I kind of got blown around with the wind. I noticed that we marked a couple fish in 15, so I moved the boat over. We got it moving back in that 15 range on the channel edge, and boom, we got that nice walleye. Oh, there we go. There we go back on the channel edge. Oh no, did it come off? No. But we got dinner! Hoo hoo hoo! We got dinner! Huh. I wasn't sure if it came off or not, but we, nah, maybe that's a little too small. Yeah, it's a little bit too small. We're gonna let him go story big fish or little fish what are you gonna do I like this blade it's got a nice rattle on there this is one of the new acme the new acme rattling spinners I like the color combination so far it's doing good i might have to pick up another one of these guys have any questions you know fire away you know give us a like I know I haven't posted a video in such a long time give us a like share check us out on Instagram MG Outdoors YouTube and uh, yeah we'll see you guys next time hopefully we'll get back into the video production mode but uh, things have been pretty slow and uh, today's like the first day I feel relaxed that I can go out and actually uh, do something so but yeah loving my new boat and I uh, can't wait to get back out on the water in her and pull blades. Let's fire up the zook and head on back.